Hello everyone. We have with us today Dinesh Ahuja, Fund Manager, SBI Magnum Income Fund, and winner of Moista Fund Award in medium to long duration category. Welcome, Dinesh. Hi, good afternoon. Dinesh, first, I would like to congratulate you on winning this award for the second consecutive year. So what worked in your favor and what helped you to achieve this? Uh, so one is, uh, you know, of course, obviously, uh, the broader macro calls, uh, the right credit calls in the fund uh, has like really worked in, in our favor. Uh, besides this, uh, you know, we've been running this strategy since uh, 2013 now. Uh, SEBI uh, came out with, uh, you know, classification of funds somewhere around three years or four years back. But we've been running this strategy of maintaining predominantly between five to ten years of average maturity, which now is uh, four to seven years of Macau duration in, in SEBI mandated terms. We've been running this since 2013. Uh, that strategy has been, uh, you know, working very well. It's like an all-weather strategy where you don't run excessive duration risk. At the same time, we've uh, limited ourselves to AA minus credits, not below AA minus, which is again not very excessively high credit risk. Right. So that blend has worked well. Uh, besides this, like I said, you know, the broader duration calls, the right credit picks that we've had, has has uh, you know worked well actually for us on this front. And then any discussion on fixed income would be incomplete if we don't talk about last year. And last year was unprecedented. While we saw extreme liquidity crunch in the months of March and April, the credit involvement was also unconducive. So, you know, you do take some exposure in AA segment or below that, but your fund didn't face much of an impact. So what helped you to tie through such difficult times? So a couple of things. One is uh, the entire robust credit process that we run, that we have uh, within our system, within the SBI mutual fund. That's, uh, you know, that's gone a long way in identifying the right credits, right? Beyond that, uh, uh, you know, uh, we've got, you know, internal templates that are governed, that are governing each and every fund, right? So the, the medium to longer duration fund has a template in itself, which determines, which defines the, 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 uh, the extent of risk that we take, right? And when I say risk is how much do you lend to a particular company? How much do you lend to a particular sector? While these limits are defined by SEBI, we've got far stricter limits within our, uh, within our fund house, right? And that also goes a long way in, uh, you know, in, 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 you know, having a certain discipline that you don't lend to a particular company beyond certain limits, right? Even if, even if, you know, we've, we've not got a single call wrong as yet, but even if you get a call wrong, there is a very limited amount of impact that, you know, that the fund has to bear, right? I mean, so for example, uh, a double A minus, not more than 3% of the fund, right? SEBI allows a blanket of 10% of for all issuers, right? So, so these are limits that, uh, you know, we've defined and has has helped in, in constructing the portfolio in a disciplined kind of a manner. Which, which actually has helped in, in these credit, uh, uh, you know, in these times, which has been very disruptive for credits. And how are you looking at interest rate scenario going ahead? And how are you planning to position your fund to benefit from that? Right. So uh, uh, while we've seen RBI cutting rates, infusing liquidity, uh, you know, using all sorts of non-conventional and conventional tools to, um, you know, ease rates uh, within the system, uh, we've seen uh, a pretty decent recovery now starting to happen, right? Post the COVID and post the lockdown that, that we've witnessed in the last one year. We've already witnessed the RBI now starting to unwind liquidity. So they started off with uh, a variable reverse repo. And, and now they've also announced a gradual rollback of the CRR cut that they had announced last year. So clearly the RBI is, is in a phase where it will kind of unwind the excessive liquidity uh, that's there uh, in the system, they will do it in a very gradual and a non-destructive manner because still while growth is, is picking up, they are concerned that the growth is probably not on a very strong footing and they need to nurture the, 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 the gradual recovery that's kind of happening. And therefore this unwinding process would, would be in a very gradual and in a slow kind of a manner, right? Uh, you know, having said that, even if it takes nine to 12 months to, you know, unwind this sort of a liquidity, uh, there would be gradual upward pressure on rates, uh, you know, over the next few months or few quarters, I would say. Uh, and and we, we've kept that in mind. Uh, we've reduced our duration uh, uh, in the fund. While SEBI mandates uh, us to maintain 
a four to seven year of Macaulay duration, they have given us leeway uh, to reduce it to to one year of Macaulay duration if if we feel there are enough reasons to do that, right? Uh, we have uh, internally taken that approval. We've come, we've come down below four years of Macaulay duration at this particular point in time, and uh, we are protecting. Uh, you know, uh, you know, we are minimizing. I would say the capital loss that could occur over the next. Uh, you know, while the RBI unwinds uh, the liquidity, we don't expect the RBI to hike the repo rate, but there is a possibility that the RBI might narrow down the corridor between the repo and reverse repo. Does the reverse repo might move higher? So that could be uh, something that could happen over the next one year, and this could put pressure uh, on the uh, predominantly on the shorter end of the curve. While the longer end would also face pressure, I think we we probably would see a flattening of the curve over the next six to twelve months. While while this liquidity uh, is is sucked out by the RBI. And Dinesh, before we wrap up, you know we have multiple debt categories. So what does medium to long duration funds have in offer for investors? And how should investors position them in their portfolio? Right. So this is, you know, a very important question which every investor needs to understand. Uh, the discipline of asset allocation. Right. Uh, this particular fund, particularly this fund of ours, which we classify it as an all weather all weather fund. Right. The investor doesn't need to time his entry, time his exit. The discipline that the investor needs to have is is give time for his investments to grow. You cannot you cannot generate wealth over a one year period. You need to invest in these funds from a three five year period to generate alpha, right? And and uh, you know in simple words, don't put your eggs in one basket. Identify the funds that you want to stay into. Identify let's say a duration fund, uh, a medium duration fund. You know whatever bucket you want to identify, an investor wants to identify depending upon his risk appetite, and then allocate money. This is a particular fund. Which is an all-weather fund. The investor doesn't need to bother about where interest rates are moving. We, as fund managers, are doing the job of reducing or increasing durations. Not necessarily that all our calls might go right, but if the investor gives us reasonable amount of time, uh, you know, we, you know, even if a call goes wrong, there is enough time for us to kind of rectify that mistake and and probably generate more alpha for the investor. I think that's the discipline that the investor needs to have, you know, while investing. Either in the income fund, either in the medium to long duration category, or any sort of income fund or any sort of debt fund that the investor chooses to invest, the investor should have that discipline of staying invested for a reasonable amount of time. Thank you, Dinesh, for sharing your candid views and taking the time out to be with us today. And once again, congratulations on your win. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you.